Readings for the day, 2022, on Tuesday, November 15th. The readings from the regular cycle, the epistle, Tuesday of the 23rd week. The reading is from Paul's first letter to the Thessalonians. Brethren, you became imitators of us and of the Lord, for you received the word in much affliction with joy inspired by the Holy Spirit so that you became an example to all the believers in Macedonia and in Achaia. For not only has the word of the Lord sounded forth from you in Macedonia and Achaia, but your faith in God has gone forth everywhere, so that we need not say anything. For they themselves report concerning us what a welcome we had among you, and how you turned to God from idols to serve a living and true God and wait for his Son from heaven, whom he raised from the dead, Jesus, who deliver us from the wrath to come. The Gospel, Tuesday of the ninth week of Luke. The reading is from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. At that time, great multitudes accompanied Jesus, and he turned to them and said to them, If anyone comes to me and does not hate his own father and mother and wife and child and brothers and sisters, yes, and even his own life, he cannot be my disciple. Whoever does not bear his own cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. For which of you, desiring to build a tower, does not first sit down and count the cost, whether he has enough to complete it? Otherwise, when he has laid a foundation and is not able to finish, all who see it begin to mock him, saying, This man began to build and was not able to finish. Or what king, going to encounter another king in war, will not sit down first and take counsel, whether he is able with ten thousand to meet him, who comes against him with twenty thousand? And if not, while the other is yet a great way off, He sends an embassy and asks terms of peace. So therefore, whoever of you does not renounce all that he has cannot be my disciple. Salt is good, but if salt has lost its taste, how shall its saltiness be restored? It is fit neither for the land nor for the dunghill. Men throw it away. He he who has ears to hear, let him hear. Readings from the Commemoration the epistle for the martyrs the reading is from paul's letter to the ephesians brethren be strong in the lord and in the strength of his might put on the whole armor of god that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil for we are not contending against flesh and blood but against the principalities against the powers against the world rulers of this present darkness against the spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places Therefore, take the whole armor of God that you may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all to stand, stand, therefore, having girded your loins with truth, and having put on the breastplate of righteousness, and having shod your feet with the equipment of the gospel of peace. Besides all these, taking the shield of faith with which you can quench all the flaming darts of the evil one, and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. The Gospel for the Martyrs The reading is from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The Lord said to his disciples, Beware of the scribes who like to go out in long robes and love salutations in the marketplace and the best seats in the synagogues and the places of honor at feasts, who devours widows' houses, and for a pretense make long prayers, they will receive the greater condemnation. He looked up and saw the rich putting their gifts into the treasury, and he saw a poor widow put in two copper coins, and he said, Truly I tell you, this poor widow has put in more than all of them, for They all contributed out of their abundance, but she, out of her poverty, put in all the living that she had. Having said this, he proclaimed, He who has ears to hear, let him hear. It is appropriate to stand for the reading of the Synexarion. Synexarion from the Manion. 
On November 15th, we commemorate the holy martyrs Guria, Shamuna, and Habib, the confessors. On this day, we also commemorate our devout father, Quintinian, or Quintian, Bishop of Seleucia, one of the 318 God-bearing fathers of the First Ecumenical Council. We also commemorate our devout no, we also commemorate the Orthodox Emperors Justin and Theodora. We also commemorate St. Thomas the New, Patriarch of Constantinople. On this day, we also commemorate the Holy Martyrs Elpidios, Marcellus, Evstokios, and those with them. On this day, we also commemorate the Holy Martyr Demetrius. By their holy intercessions, O God, have mercy on us. Amen. Fasting Rule Fish, oil, and wine are allowed. Refrain from meat, dairy, and eggs. It is the Christmas fast.